Right, welcome back for the recap of our Monday meeting here. And we get straight into the first race where we see Pray for Rain win now running for a new in new colours for a new stable, new jockey. It runs in the uh, Poets Corner colours, and you'll see them win comfortably up with the speed and uh, too good for them in the first. Henley now goes in. Got a Dream Rails run. Coming to the 300. Pray for Rain continues to find. Now Bevy's Delight asks to find more. Sunblast on the outside. Pray for Rain. Bevy's Delight. Sunblast trying to close in. Pray for Rain's in a galloping mood today. Bringing his A game. Pray for Rain will win it. Number two. Second spot's very tight. Bevy's. Yeah, very comfortable win by Pray for Rain with the new yard. It just moved over from Stewie Ferry. But in the second race, we saw double dream win for Vili van der Merwe and Vaughan Marshall. Sean Veal in the irons. You'll see it in the green and white colours. Comes through for a comfortable win. Inside the 400 meter marker, Inventrex, Kylie's fate. Yaranafta's putting in a run. Double Dream in the green silks is now starting to put it together. Inventrix, Double Dream on the inside, pouring on the pressure, 150 to go. Number two, Double Dream now unleashing the fury. Double Dream stand in the queue by two. Inventrix sec. Well, the third race was turned out to be a very good race for our stable. We had first and second. Release Me getting up to beat Ask Kingdom 2. Two smart three-year-olds, I believe. A good finish for the yard. Kingdom by a length and a quarter. The Philly Virginia Sweet. Samanga Kamalo stick in the right hand says go. He has Release Me on the inside starting to build up. Ice Kingdom still finds Release Me. All the while imposing on the extreme inside. But Ice Kingdom and Release Me. I'll go Release Me from Ice Kingdom late on in the day. Release Me from Ice Kingdom. Virginia Sweet. Yeah, very nice win there by uh, Release Me. In the fourth race, interesting race here because we saw, let me get the right horse here to it. The Ultimo was beaten by Just For The Penny. Just For The Penny had been running all these seconds and hadn't won for a long time. And uh, Rob Haswell came down to watch his horse. He was told to come down. Muzi gets it up to beat the Ultimo who is just starting to stutter at the end of a mile. He's going to angle out. Vengeance forever. Ricardo's on the outside. Rodriguez can't find a way through. Down the inside, Gilda Gray. Le Ultimo continues to roll. Just for the penny. Exceed expectation. Gilda Gray. Le Ultimo keeps going. Just for the penny. He's trying to get into it late on. Just for the penny. Today will be his day. Le Ultimo. Yep, just for the penny doing enough to get up and win a very good race. Then we moved on to the fifth race where we saw Zacco win again. Now Zacco has really improved with the blinkers and uh, Keegan DeMello gave this a sparkling ride, being pressured all the time by the runner-up. Let's have a look at Zacco scoring again. Number eight in the fifth. Zacco, the red blinkers, comes out for his challenge. 300 metres to go, catch the tune too. Zacco starts to come home on the grandstand side. The red blinkers of Zacco and aerial display. Catch the tune, Lucretius the inside. Zacco's now starting to warm up with aerial display. And yeah, they come together. Zacco, aerial display, Zacco. From well, another good gutsy win by Zacco to hold off aerial display. And we move on to six. Interesting race here. Gary Rich had one runner on the day, and that was Kitten's Adventure. And he took the blinkers off, and he said to Cole Dickin, go out there and try and fend them off. Kitten's Adventure moves up to rocking the time away. Towards the outside, twice as wild. Poppy of Bayou and Magical Job are trying to work into it. Kitten's Adventure hit the front. Poppy of Bayou, the last 150. Kitten's Adventure pulling out more. And it's number one. Kitten's Adventure going on for the victory. Kitten's Adventure, Poppy of Bayou. Yeah, first and second to two trainers who relocated from Ashburton to Summerfelt. Well done to them, first and second. And then we're going to move on to the seventh race where we saw the talking horse. A lot of people were saying Rosh Kadesh was the right horse in the race. Let's have a look at the sparkling win.
Goes towards the inside, Rosh Kadesh. Travels to the inside and he's made up two or three lengths. Coming inside the 300 now, Rosh Kadesh on the inside and Trepper tries to fight back. Funky music. Keegan DeMello says go, Rosh Kadesh gives the kick. Intrepid's on the outside, Funky music. Rosh Kadesh though, you can ring up the register. Funky music second, Intrepid. Well, everyone's banker is in to uh, help people catch the pick six, and the pick six was closed out by Malcolm's Dream. For the Carlisles, Mark Dixon, Cole Dickon, another winner on the day, and uh, this found traffic problems up the stretch, but eventually came through to win the last leg of the pick six. Not stirred. Green Dream becomes a runner, forged and ice. Bird Watcher's there on the inside. Give me a lullaby, trying to quicken up. Bird Watcher now on the inside, puts in a big run at the 200. Conchita, Green Dream's trying to close in and forged and ice. And Daryl Daniels, Malcolm's Dream bursts through between them, and that's it. Malcolm's Dream going on. Malcolm's Dream, forged and ice. Bird Watcher, Conchita. Well, there we are. There we go. It uh, a comfortable in the end for a horse who had terrible traffic problems. So well done, a double for Cole Dixon, and that concludes our meeting. We're back on the seventeenth.